Hi guys, welcome back to my garden. Uh, today I'm going to be creating a somewhat experimental um, no-dig bed here at the end of my raised bed garden. Um, when my husband built my garden fence, it really increased my garden real estate, and so it's given me some space to try some things. So here I've laid down thickly uh, a thick layer of cardboard, and on top of that, several inches um, of wood chips. Now, today, I've moved the majority of the wood chips all to the edges to create a real thick border. And down the center, I'm going to fill it in with some partially finished compost. I wish I was using fully finished compost, but it's just not happening for me this year. So I'm going to fill this in with partially finished compost. And everywhere that I'm going to be sowing seeds, I'm going to dig out and put some good soil in those spots. Worst case scenario, I learned something. Best case scenario, I grow some food. So I'm gonna try. So next step is to fill this in with the compost. I'll be right back. All right, so that step's completed. Now my next step is going to be to cover um, this compost layer with thick, damp paper. You can use newspaper, but as we just moved here last year, we have an overabundance of packing shipping paper. So I'll be using that. So I'm going to cover all this compost with that shipping paper, <clears throat> and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now we've got cardboard, thin layer of wood chips, compost, paper. Now I'm going to put on a straw mulch to cover the paper, and then we're gonna go ahead and sow some seeds into this bed. Now you might be asking, if the cardboard is to stop the weeds, then what's the paper for? Well, the paper is because there may be weed seeds in this compost, especially since it's not finished, that could sprout. So the paper on top is to hopefully deter any seeds from sprouting out of this compost. But then we're going to put the straw on top and then we will move on to planting. Be right back. I'm going to show you now how I'm going to plant into this bed that we just created. So the first step is going to be taking a trowel and we're going to have to cut through that paper. So we'll move back the straw mulch and we'll cut through the paper. Okay, and we're going to make a hole. We really want to get the straw out of the way. Okay, so now we've got our hole. Now what I want to do there, since that compost isn't finished, is I've got this lovely potting soil compost mix, and I'm going to fill that hole with the mix. Now when we sow seeds into this, by the time those roots get down to that cardboard, the cardboard is going to be broken up. So right now, those roots for the first maybe even six weeks will mostly just be up in this good dirt. Then they'll make their way through that compost layer and then through the uh, cardboard. So here I'm actually going to sow the one plant that I did get by starting my seeds, which is a sugar pie pumpkin. It's teeny tiny, but it's the only one of my um, squash or melon plants that actually came up so I'm gonna put him here and then I'm gonna go ahead and plant out this bed. hi there I wanted to pop back on and show you what I'm gonna do for the spots where I'm sowing seeds rather than putting a plant which that's how he turned out so I went ahead and did everything the same I cut the paper pulled it back put the good dirt in made a little hole for my seeds now 
and I am just gonna sow uh, two seeds in each hole and I will keep the straw mulch pulled back until um, the plants come up and are big enough for me to kind of push that mulch back under. So here we go. I've got two seeds in the hole. Okay, and I'm just gonna cover that up. I'll come back through and I'll water one more time. Um, and then we'll say a good prayer to the Most High and pray that he brings the increase. I'll be back to show you everything. All right, guys, it. here she is all planted. I've got my sugar pie pumpkin. I went ahead and sowed seeds for another one there. Here I have butter cup squash. And then I've got two moon and stars melons, a crimson, no, I'm sorry, two sugar babies, moon and stars, and a crimson sweet. Down there I've got in the front two crookneck squash, yellow squash, and then here I've got two acorn squash. I might come in and maybe put a couple flowers in here, but that is her done. And Lord willing, she will produce right, food. Guys. Now that I'm a right mess from all this work, uh, stay tuned over the summer. I will be sharing the progress here and we will learn together whether it was a success or a failure, but there really are no failures because I will learn something. So there we go. Have a good one. Shalom.